This is Twit. What I love about independent developers is that they often take ideas that we've seen before and slowly improve them and make them better with each new iteration and that sort of thing. So the app I'm talking about here isn't an app we, we haven't seen before. It's In fact, it's something that I think we've talked about a lot in the past. It's called Unapp, Easy Uninstall Multiple Apps, No Root. And it's an app that very simply lets you uninstall apps on your phone. Pretty simple when you, when you say it, but as we look at it, um, when it opens up, it, oh, you paid, you paid, you did the in-app purchase, didn't you? you yeah, I'm, I'm rolling devs. in That's the good. dough. You know, so, 99 cents, yo. Support your devs. So, mm -hmm. so one of the things by doing the 99 cents in-app purchase allows you, if you hit that gear in the upper right-hand corner, that allows you to unlock the dark theme. And I did not do the in-app purchase yet, and I'm still on the light theme. Um, you can also tell it if your phone is AMOLED or not. Um, and you can, oh, yeah. Uh, oh. yeah, which is pretty cool, right? And uh, you can hide system apps and you can show AP a APK size. We're going to come back to the settings in a second. But if we go back to the main screen, it just lists all of your apps. And then what you can do is all the way up at the top, uh, although you seem to have – oh, there it is. You can sort it. Uh, you can sort by size from big biggest to smallest. And you can sort by name, alphabetical to uh, not alphabetical. Um, and really it just allows you to multiply – or pick multiple apps at one time. You can select them all, which I would not advise you to do. But you could, let's say you want to get rid of AZ Screen Reporter, re Recorder and Airbnb and don't get rid of Allo, but get rid of Alpha Bear too. So you can select multiple ones and then hit uninstall and it will uninstall those apps in one press of the button um, once you hit uninstall. And then it warns you about to uninstall this app. Yes, you got to go through the Android kind of warnings. But it, it gives you a better picture than going through your app draw and trying to be like, oh, I need to uninstall this one and going through the long steps of doing it. It just puts it all in one place. But what I love about it is um, – what, what, I, what I love about it, what I thought was interesting is not only is it somewhat evolved, doesn't require root, has the dark theme. But if you go back to, this, to the settings, um, they actually are participating in a program to translate the app. Uh, and you can tap on that and you can choose to join – uh, the translation of this app to make it as universal and localized as possible, which I thought was fascinating. So you can just say, I'm, I know Czech, I know English, I know Polish, I know Portuguese, and you can choose one. Clearly, they need to work on the Czech version. They're 100 percent on all the other ones. Um, and you can register and then you can join a project to help translate an app, which I thought was pretty cool and kind of, you know, everybody chipping in to help make an app better. Uh, so support your devs. Uh, check out on app to easily uninstall multiple apps at once uh, and participate in translating it if you know Czech. Nice. There you Love go. It. Uh, unapp. Unapp. One word. Unapp. And unfortunately, Easy uninstall in the chat, multiple apps, no root. Eric in the chat room does ask for sort by usefulness, and they don't have that feature yet. But that would be really cool. And if the developer, Perbrnikov, P-H-R-B-N-K-V, if he's listening, he or she are listening, having like some sort of community rating of usefulness would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but very interesting. anyway, this is a great starting point. So on app, easy to install multiple apps in the room. Go vote for it. <laughs> Remember the whole thing, too. The whole thing. All the whole that. thing.